The Kerala government has announced a further investigation into the Kodagara Hawala case, a decision that could put the state BJP in a precarious position ahead of the crucial bypolls. This move follows new revelations from Tirur Sadesh, a former office secretary of the BJP in Trishu. The case began on April 3, 2021, when a criminal group intercepted and looted a vehicle carrying Hawala money on NH 544 in Trishu. Initially, the police received a complaint regarding the theft of Rs 25 lakh from a 37-year-old man named Shamsuddin. He reported that a group of 10 men in three cars had robbed him near Kodagara in Trishu. Shamsuddin claimed that he had been entrusted by a man named Sunil Naik from Kodikot to deliver the money to another individual named Dharmajan in Narnagur. Upon investigation, police located the car Shamsuddin was traveling in and, and discovered two secret compartments that had been opened. It soon emerged that the actual amount involved was not Rs 25 lakh but a staggering Rs 3.5 crore. The investigation was soon transferred to a special investigation team. During their inquiry, the SID noted conflicting accounts from the main witness Dharmajan and the complaint regarding the source of the money. Following detailed questioning, police uncovered clues suggesting that 3.5 crore had been brought to Kerala from Bangalore. In connection with the case, 23 individuals were arrested. In the initial charge sheet submitted to the Irignalakuda First Class Magistrate Court, the police indicated that this Hawala money from Karnataka was intended for the BJP and was transported in relation to the 2021 Kerala Assembly elections. And now, Tirur Sadish claimed that the money seized during the 2021 Kodagara Hayes was in fact Hawala cash meant for the BJP. In response, the BJP state president, K. Suredan, quickly dismissed the allegation, stating that he would not entertain baseless accusations without evidence. BJP Trishur district president K. K. Anish Kumar also rejected Sadish's claim as politically motivated, noting that Sadish had been expelled from the party for financial misconduct. Sadish further alleged that he is now collaborating with the CPIM for financial gains. Interestingly, in light of these allegations, a report submitted by the Kerala police to the ED and the Income Tax Department in 2021 has resurfaced. The report indicated that Dharmajan transported a total of Rs 41.4 crore from Karnataka to Kerala in connection with the assembly elections as directed by BJP leadership, including Sudhendra. The police also noted that the Karnataka BJP leader Lehar Singh was involved in the illegal transportation of the funds to Kerala. However, neither ED nor the Income Tax Department has taken any action on the case thus far. Correspondence regarding this matter has also been submitted to the State Election Commission. Notably, the opposition in Kerala has accused the BJP and CPIM of colluding to keep the case under wraps. Opposition leader Viri Sadishin argued that the recent declaration for further investigation is merely an eyewash. Meanwhile, the CPIM defends its stance, stating that the Kerala police submitted a report to the ED, but no action was taken. The party has decided to make this case a central topic of the political discussion. However, the questions have arisen as to why the CPIM did not previously use the inaction of the central agencies as a political tool, despite knowing about the shocking report submitted by the Kerala police three years ago. Additionally, there are concerns about why no cases have been registered regarding the election fraud, even though the Kerala police found that crores of rupees were distributed illegally during the election period. In response, the BJP is vigorously defending itself, asserting that the Kodagara Hawala case is brought up every election in Kerala to tarnish the party's image. The BJP hopes to win the Palakkad bypolls and reopen its account in the Kerala Assembly. It remains to be seen whether the specter of Kodagara case will impact their chances in Palakkad.